We're Frank and Sherry Fontana. And we've been redesigning and renovating homes together for over 15 years. Good job. You're gonna have this awesome tile going right up to the ceiling. This is awesome. Anybody care that I got a monkey on my head? From the outside, they're beautiful and classic, but on the inside, they're no longer functional for today's families. The goal is to not break any piece of this wood. That's why we do it piece by piece. It's really about transforming not only homes, but people's lives. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Off to see the Omahonies. <laughs> Seriously? We know them. They're our neighbors, and everybody in the neighborhood, including us, go over there for parties. Remember when we met the Omahonies? I had just had Lola. Yep. And I walked into their backyard, didn't know anyone. The first person to come over and crack a joke was Seamus. Really, it was. We broke the ice ever since that moment. Like, it's kind of been like a great friendship that's developed from it. Friends ever since. I'm actually excited to work with them. At the same time, a little anxious because doing work for friends can get weird sometimes. We'll either end our friendship or we'll make it stronger. <laughs> no way. We're not ending that friendship. We're going to knock that out of the park. All right, I'm coming out. Don't hurt me. All right, hold on. Mom's coming. Mom's coming. Hold on. Don't Fantastic. Hurt me. Susan and I met in college. I saw her at a house party and we struck up a conversation. Then we started dating and now we're married. Yeah. And three kids yeah, and yeah, life is great. Thank you. We moved here when we had our third child. We have a girl and two boys, Ellen, Cormac, and Ronan. They are 10, 8, and 6. And when our youngest was born, we needed more space. We came out here. Seamus grew up out here. We realized along the way we did want to plant our flag here and stay. The house is from 1924. It's an 1923. American. 1923. 1923. That's right. Who's counting? You're off. It's an American four square. Uh, I didn't know about those kind of houses until we moved out here. But we love the character of the home. The little nooks, the woodwork. So much of it does work, but there's aspects that just keep getting in the way that frustrate us beyond Correct. all belief. We are a loud, rambunctious sort of family. Very social, yeah. very outgoing. Yeah. Hey, neighbor. There's rarely a weekend that goes by without a gathering at somebody's house. That's kind of how we met Frank and Sherry, actually. We loved having people over, but it gets crowded quickly. We've kind of drifted away from that. We'd like to have an opportunity to, to return to that. Well, what do you think Seamus is going to say? We're finally here. I love coming here with like a different set of eyes this time. Taking an American <laughs> Foursquare and making it bigger is always a challenge. The Omahones have a budget of $175,000, which means we may have a lot of work on our hands. Susan! Hey! Susan. Hey, guys! Hi. How are we doing? What's going on? Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you? Oh, so good. Thanks for coming. Hi! Oh, well, right there, you? Just yeah. keep up with the Fontana. You remember Cormac, right? What's up, buddy? Hi. Hi. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Fontana. You're living in an American Foursquare. The American Foursquare was a popular home design from the 1890s all the way through the 1930s. The large boxy design allowed homeowners to maximize the space of small city lots. These homes are known for their dormer windows on the third floor, large square interiors, and built-in cabinetry. Although a great use of space in the 1930s, this boxy design can definitely feel cramped by today's standards. We're really excited to be here, and like yeah. we are very excited to have you. We need you, desperately. We need your help on a number of things for our house. Boy is a big issue. Okay. There's usually shoes everywhere. No closet, though? The closet was turned into that. This. Yes. That is the most awkward spot I've ever seen in my life. I was trying life. to stand yes. in front of it, actually. A lot of older homes were not built with a bathroom on the first floor. So as time went on, people converted their tiny closets into a bathroom. Which left them with no storage. Right. And seeing a toilet every time you come in the front door, probably not the best solution. I've been in the facilities at your home before. But well, at least you had the uh, Welcome back. But, but you closed the door, unlike our kids. So <laughs> right. it's a little I bit different. I could imagine if the kids like sitting here yeah. you have to do in their friends. business. But this is like the convenience. Well, there you Time go. Time saver. That's exactly right. You I like it. it. If I could wash my hands while I'm going, I could save so much time. Easily okay. a minute and I mean, shaved off your experience. It'd be great if we could somehow just create a little bit of privacy there so that mm -hmm. the toilet isn't uh, in a, a Mexican standoff with the person who enters the house, essentially. It doesn't seem like this wall. Not load bearing. Not load bearing. So I would I would love to see this bumped out. Get high the toilet. You wouldn't see yes. it when you first walked in. Yeah. Maybe reposition it far back corner. Yeah. And kind of configure it in a different way. We can hide the toilet yeah. away from yeah. the view when you yeah, first so walk it in. You have to be in the space yeah. that we bump out. I would out. be very happy. This is the dining room. We love the touches in this room. So love do the, I. You know, I love the hutch behind you. Built in is beautiful. 
you know, we love this window here. You're living in, as you know, uh, American Foursquare. The right. spatial issues here gotta hurt you. I mean, that's that's why we started down this path. We're we're short for space. We could really we could really use it. Kitchen. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, this is the best. This is ground zero of our concern. Yeah. Yeah. You've got a situation where it's a glorified galley kitchen. The cabinets are super cheap, and then some of our drawers, like. So you can't you can't pull out the spice rack. Oh yeah. yeah. If we can possibly have cabinets that can open all the way. All the way. Yeah, I know I know Easy. we drive a hard bargain. You have a secret obsession with microwaves. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one broke, so we got a alternative microwave. So when you have parties, like yeah. everyone does end up in the kitchen. Everybody right. Is here. Despite our best efforts, absolutely, yeah. we're trying to you know accommodate a lot in a relatively small space. You do have a backyard that can accommodate yeah. some growth. Are you prepared for a major extension? Yeah, I, I think that the solution is just to start taking away the backyard and adding more house. Well, I feel you know? like in the dining room, if we're actually bumping that out to extend mm -hmm. that area. Maybe we're looking at the kitchen there, and then off of that, we can build a new back entry where we can put a mud room and store all the kids' stuff. That would be amazing. People have maximized the houses as best they can in, in, yeah. in here, so that's why we're talking about adding space, because there's not much more we can do within the confines of it. What else right. could we put here for you guys that would make life easier? In the basement, and we yeah. have a little bit of an issue down there. Yeah. Okay. I've actually well, never been down here. Prepare to be dazzled, Sherry. Here we go. <laughs> the floors, we had a little... Uh, we had an incident. We had some flooding. Oh, so was it, it was seepage or like it was back? It happened over here, so we had these mats and the water came in, so you couldn't see it. You just smelled it. I think it's just a sump pump issue, and it could be easily resolved by installing another one. And. In our basement, we put a vinyl, a vinyl floor. Yeah. It almost looks like hardwood, and it's made for, for basements like this. Right, cool. Very cool. Head back up. It's great. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Well, so this is where all the action is going to happen out here, guys. We are out here as much as we can be. We love having an outdoor space, you know, as much as we can, you know, see the kids messing around in the backyard. To so have something that covers it all is, is not a bad great. idea. Yes, I like it. I think we've come up with some great ideas to give the Omahones some more room for their family in that house and to help them entertain. While keeping the same vintage look in this classic home design, I cannot wait to grab a sledgehammer and get to work. What do you think of the ideas? So for your $175,000 budget, we'll remodel that small powder room for $12,000 and give you a massive new extension, including a modern kitchen with a breakfast nook for $135,000. Then build you a new back entry into a spacious mudroom to unclutter your front entry for $25,000. And in the basement, we'll add a sub pump, all new vinyl flooring, and give the walls a fresh coat of paint for $3,000. And we'll see if we can work in a covered area outside for you. Right. I think it's gonna look sweet. Yeah, and I don't I want know, it. I'm very excited. And, yeah, I and know. more importantly, it's gonna function super well. This is very exciting. Next time you see us, it's gonna be with hammers and lots of dust. Yeah. We're excited, thanks guys. Yeah. The Omahones are looking to do a massive renovation that is going to max out every penny of their $175,000 budget. With a project of this size, our challenge is to stay on budget while giving our friends everything they want. All right, guys. All right, thanks, thanks guys. Team. Bye. They can do all the heavy lifts. Are you going to smash some stuff? Yeah. This is my mighty sledgehammer. You like it. By the power of Odin's thunder, we are here to demo. There's something wrong with you. There is. I just wanted to say that. I've always wanted to say this. No, I'm really embarrassed. Can right I now. smash the door with this? No. Hey, are you guys, are you guys the muscle? Hi. Yeah. We've never done anything like this before, so it'll be interesting. But I'm ready. Yeah. No. Let's do it. Let the demo begin. Let's do it. Yeah. Harder. Come on. Look at those nights when Seamus just pisses you off. <laughs> <laughs> Demo is not a delicate process. But as a homeowner, I understand it could be a little, you know, frightening. But if you want to get this party started, you got to put a little muscle into it. Like I do? Yeah, exactly. I feel like we can really go at this wall. All right, well, then how do we do that? What? Cherry is live. Let me what? show you. Let me show you how it's done. She's done this once or twice. We got to get the microwave out of here. So why don't you do the honor? Give me the huh? Come on, Frank. 
You know, we hang out with the Omahones a lot. They've never seen us in our element, though. This is where we, we have the most we fun. We do have the most fun when we're doing this stuff. I just hope it doesn't freak them out too much. Oh, I see. I'm watching Sherry swing that hammer, man. That was like, whoa. For uh, being little? Yeah. Now, this is a little more concerning up here. Yeah. Look at that black stuff. That's not good. It's very concerning. Oh, Look at this. Oh, yeah. Look, look how soft that's, that is. That's, that's, look, that's going right through your wall. That's extreme. That's all black mold. Oh, Look at this. Oh, yeah. Look, look how soft that's, that's, that is. That's, look, that's going right through your wall. That's extreme. That's all black mold. Mold is a serious problem. I mean, it can cause health concerns and respiratory problems. We need to get to the source of the problem right now. Good time to put masks on, because once we start scraping this, it's going to get airborne. Oh my gosh, it's completely black. Friend. I think it looks more black as it's going. Yeah, it does, actually. Oh my God. The worst possible scenario. So here's what your good, fresh insulation should look like. Yeah. Here's what your moldy, wet insulation currently looks like. This represents a big problem. Okay, let's use a crowbar and take this down here. Here's I mean, I don't up. even know if I need it, huh? Look. Oh, you don't? Wow. wow. Oh, yeah. This is... Look at the wood just rotting away right over here. Chances are this whole wall is just shot. Yep. There's no plumbing where the water leak is. So we have to rip out the kitchen ceiling and the wall, and I'm going to head outside to see if there's any exterior leaks coming in. It looks like it's close to a gutter line. So look, it is. There's the gutter line. And see that crack right there in the yep. plaster? Yep. It's either overflowing when the leaves get stuck in the gutter. Do you think it's slowly leaking in? I th I, I'm almost certain that's what happens because of the weather here in Chicago, the expansion and contraction of the wood mm -hmm. and the plaster itself. You're going to get seepage right through these cracks. Yep. Have you cleaned your gutters recently? Not this season. Over the years, we've seen it all, Fontana. I mean, yes, we've we seen have. damaged roofs, walls, even major foundation issues. Honestly, because people do not clean out their gutters. It's so simple, and so you could simple. avoid so many issues and save a ton of money. Once we pull the ceiling back, I feel like we'll get a better understanding of how far it goes. Absolutely. And then we'll know how to address it properly. I'd love to find out as soon as possible. Well, let's let's yeah. rip up some of that ceiling then. OK, Great. let's do it. Thanks, guys. I feel kind of stupid, truth be told. I can't take any time off from cleaning these gutters and stuff like that. So it looks like it is contained in this area, which the gutter is right alongside here. So right. it looks like the water, ice, moisture that's been pooling in there from the weather just slowly, you know, it's dripping into this area. So what's the solution? Nothing we can do but take it down. All from gutters? Are you kidding me? It's just not, it's not good. We'll figure it out, we'll fix it at some point. Okay. All right? Cool. All right. Thanks. All right, guys. Okay. Let's move into the other room and start knocking the wall down. It's a scary thing. Black mold, that's not something we trifle with. So whatever it takes to get that out, and hopefully we can just keep moving forward yeah. uh, and it doesn't break the budget in the meantime. Now I'm getting all my aggression out about the mold. After hearing bad news, I have to take my aggression out on something. Yeah, so before we demo that living room wall, we wanted the Omahones to kind of let out some frustration and smash a few things in their house. It was fun to, to smash, yeah. you know? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was therapeutic. Yeah, it was, it was very it was... therapeutic. You know, not all demolition is just about taking a sledgehammer and slamming it through a wall. Sometimes it needs a little soft touch. And because we're dealing with this rustic window that the Omahones love, we really have to be delicate. The goal is to not break any piece of this wood so we could salvage it. That's why we do it piece by piece. By piece. Oh, yeah. I love saving original elements of the home. It's one of my favorite things. And I have an idea of taking this old window and turning it into a picture frame to make something really unique and sentimental for Susan and Seamus. Gentle, gentle. And we're clear on this side. There's nothing holding it in place on this side. You look good using that circular saw. Just gonna pop this off. Oh. 
Nice job. Right. Looking yeah. good, man. Nice job. We I love the it. window. Got an opening. Yeah. I love the size working. and scale of this. Um, we have a problem. Oh, what? man. What? You guys got termites. Oh, come, come look on. at this. Look. Does it ever stop? We have a problem. Oh, what? man. What? You guys got termites. Oh, come, come look on. at this. Look. Come on. Ever stop? Come right here. Look come at here, this. Look at this. You got a full wanna... colony. Those little fangs right there. Can you get those? Are they over here, too? Oh, nasty. What, what woman likes bugs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're nasty little creatures. No. This is like the ups and downs of old homes. So, wait, what do people do for termites? Hey, we got to investigate. It's just like the mold. It's an easy fix if it's contained in this area. If it's contained in this area. We just don't know if it is. It's, we got to continue to rip the wall down. Termites can be a huge problem. We got to knock this wall down and hope that the infestation did not spread to the entire home. Give me that sledgehammer and let's knock down this wall. Yeah! I'll find you little termites. All right, you folks ready to break a wall down? Oh, okay. There are oh, nails. Oh, okay. All right, guys, on the count of three. Oh. All hands on deck. One. Two, three. Yeah! Taking that wall down. Oh my gosh, that was yeah. just like we could now we could see yeah. the vision of it. I'm not seeing any penetration through the wall or the wood. So bullet dodge, Seamus. No termite issues. Luckily for the Omahones. The termites were contained to that one portion of the wall that we tore down, and they did not travel through the rest of the house. It must be the, the luck of the Omahones. I'll take, I'll carry you over the new threshold. Yeah, wait. I've been working really hard on creating a great concept that the Omahones are gonna love. We've invited them to this old theater that Seamus used to go to as a kid and have the concept of their design right on the big screen. Why don't we pop up this first image right here. Ooh. So guys, this is the new look of the bathroom after the renovation. That's amazing. I, I can't believe that's our bathroom. Wow. The toilet yes. lives to the right side where the vanity once was. On the walls, we're gonna give it a whitewashed Ooh, wood so look. Pretty. So I think it still looks really clean and classic, but definitely durable and functional for the kids. What do you think of that? Oh! Oh, uh, no, it's, it is fantastic. Is that, what is it? This, no, is, is, it? this is a reclaimed wood panel treatment. This is gonna be your wow factor. Look at okay? that. So it is a wow factor. Well, let's transition into something a little bit bigger. This is your <laughs> new kitchen. Come on. That's the reaction I'm looking what? for. This is killer kitchen. You have the island in the middle. You can gather love around it. there. I love it. Isn't that great? Wow. So pretty. Yeah. I, mean, I love tell me, the blue. You know, a lot of people, when you're talking about cabinet color, get afraid of something like yeah. a deep navy. Love it. You love it? Yes. You love it. I, you know, I mean, it's definitely a statement. You know, I, I mean, and I just, I don't know. The countertop, we're gonna do a style stone that mimics a Carrera marble. I love it, I absolutely do. You know, just for your approval, I wanna get the island, all right? So we're varying the countertop surface there with a butcher block top. Is that something you guys are into? For sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Let's move on to your new mud room. Really? You'll have ample storage for your jackets, That's especially during awesome. the winters here in, in Chicago. I really like that. The mint cabinetry, it's really fresh. Very fresh. I love baskets and extra storage all the way up yeah. because you know, soccer season, they can put their cleats and their shin guards and we're not running around the house. This awesome. is awesome. I just love it. So I'm glad you guys like all this. Once we crunch the numbers, we could probably get this in around 175,000. Does that mm -hmm. seem like it fit in your budget? We were hoping the 175 would be inclusive of a screen and porch as well. What do you guys think? It's not gonna happen for 175. I can tell you that right now. Probably close well, to about 200 with a screen and porch. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Putting a new foundation, we're putting you know an extension to it all. I mean, that's really approaching budget buster time. That's... I mean, more than we want, but... Yeah, I mean... It seems it, like that's what it costs, so... Yeah. It looks fantastic, so let's move. Absolutely. Wouldn't change a thing. Okay. I think we're really excited. Right, we're gonna well, figure listen. out a way to do yeah, it. Yeah, love it. All Very right. excited. Yeah, All right, guys. absolutely. Thanks, thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Omahones love the designs, and they even increased their budget to $200,000 because they want to add a three-season room. That's exciting. So now we got to lay the foundation and begin the framing for the extension.
Um, all right, so, you know, here we are. Welcome to my life. This is our family room, living room, kitchen, den. Uh, this is where we do all our living. It's 300 square feet of family. The rest looks like it's a disaster. This is our former family room. As you can tell, it is a free for all. Um, but yeah, no, it, it was it was eye opening to see you know in one day just that deck comes flying down and um, and the dumpster gets filled up. So over and out. Now that the deck is gone, it's time to bring in the big guns. Today we're digging a trench for the foundation of the O'Mahony's new kitchen extension. Hey, James. So that's, that portion started, we'll move all this out and then we'll start to do the second and section. And move over, that's okay, right, cool, and keep cool. on digging. It's all, all right. yours. Sounds like a plan. I love getting in these machines. It's usually like me and my sledgehammer, but this is like massive hammer. Yeah, now it's you and your bobcat. I'm like a kid in a candy shop right now. Woo, this is awesome. Oh, Sherry tears it up back there on the excavator. It's time for me to take apart that powder room. And I have no idea what we're going to find behind these walls. Hopefully, we don't have any bad news for our friends. All that dirt's gone. It's raining. I get a call from Seamus in the middle of the night. They have a major leak in the O'Mahony house. Seamus. Hey! Hi, holy Welcome. crap. Yeah, so I don't know where it came from. It Obviously, looks like um, it's kind of pulled all the way into this area. I was not expecting it to be this bad. In addition to the cracking on the outside, I think you also have some roof leaks going on because of additional water coming in kind of these patchy areas. So I don't think it's isolated to only this area. I think it's here and then some sporadic leaking from the roof line. Right below so, where my kids sleep. Great. I think you also have some roof leaks going on. This part of the house was added on. So it looks as though there's maybe some settling happening still. Okay. And because it's all exposed, we're able to see it now. I mean, this is soaked. A previous owner added a small addition onto the kitchen years ago. It seems as though the foundation is settling, causing cracks where the extension meets the original part of the home. Remember, this is all coming down anyway. The good news is that the water damage is isolated to the kitchen, and we are going to rip down this part of the house to build a new extension. In the meantime, it'll cost about $1,000 to patch up the roof and cracking, which will help eliminate any problems in the short term. Okay. So we'll address the cracking, we'll patch up the roof, and then in weeks to come, this is all going away yeah. anyway, so yeah. don't worry about it. Eject. We'll fix it. We'll Adios. Fix it. All right, cool. Thanks. For Thanks. See ya. Bye. Get some sleep. Uh, yeah, eventually. The work never ends in the Fontana house. We're ordering sub pumps yeah. for the O'Mahonies. Ooh, look at that. It even looks cool. It's got 3,600 GPH, plenty of power to suck out that water. I'm learning all about every kind of sump pump true value has right now. Look, sure, they even have a, a how-to on, on installing it here. That's impressive. Yeah, right? I mean, anybody could do this. You just pick up one of these sump pumps and follow the directions. No more water damage in the basement. Hey, Frank. Hey, Susan. Ooh, what are you doing? While we were doing the finished part of your basement and installing all those yeah. doors, I just thought, might as well be safe dropping a new sump pump because I know the other one failed and you had all that flooding damage in the last storm. I don't want to risk it. So I just popped my true value, picked up a new one, and we're going to drop this in so you never have to worry about it again. All right, so this is where all the action happens right here. This is the pump itself. When the water starts overflowing, it falls into the pit, and this thing starts just pulling it off and ejecting it out. We already have the plumbing run, so that okay. we have the injector will go right into this. Oh, great. Right out the house, so water oh. ever accumulates again. Okay. You won't have to worry about any kind of damage on the floor. Perfect. Then we have the fittings. This will be working into this pipe here. And then we'll cut this down to size so that when it kind of slides in here, and then go right out the side of this here. Sweet. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. It's a pretty basic idea and can save you 
thousands and thousands, thousands. of dollars of damage if, it, if that thousands. ever happens to you guys again. Yes. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. We'll get this buttoned up though, don't worry about it. Within the next few weeks, our crew finishes up framing the extension, fixing the water damage in the basement, and correcting the foundation and gutter issues that were causing water damage in the first place. Push it in, Fontana, push it in! Well, this is where we live now. Guys, can you say hi? Hi. Yeah, being very nice. We're in very closed quarters right yeah. now. We're kind of sick of each other. <laughs> we need our space back. All of our possessions are essentially here. Uh, but we're seeing progress, and I'm very excited about that. So, let's go outside. So this is the addition. That's where our house ended, and it used to be, the, used to be our back deck. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Right here, where Rose walking is going to be uh, screened in porch, which I am very pumped. You can really picture it. I mean, this is so exciting. I'm slightly embarrassed for you, but that's okay. Just warming up the gun show. During the next few weeks, our crew begins finishing touches on the outside of the extension while we start prepping the interior finishes for the kitchen, the mud room, and bathroom. Next, we install the cabinets in the new kitchen extension. And we cannot wait for the Omahones to see how big their extension is. Hi, how are you? Good yeah. to see you. What's changed? Hi. Hey. What's changed is you got a oh. kitchen, man. What's up with this? I mean, talk about space. What? This is so big. I mean, in terms of size yeah. and space, this is awesome. what we wanted. It looks fantastic, the style. White is just a primer, and we want you guys to choose which color blue to paint the cabinets before we move forward. The Easy Care line from True Value, is, we've, we've been using a ton of it, and it, it's so rich, and it really picks up well. It's actually no, phenomenal. It's Too purple for you? Yeah. We might want to just go up a couple notches on our blue base. Ooh, I like that. This one here? Which one are you thinking? I like the deep Going space. deep? That's the design eye. Yeah, would that we work don't. with everything so, else that's going on in here? So we're going to have our south stone countertops. We're taking that up the wall. We got to custom build the island with a butcher block top. I think going with something so deep is a phenomenal pop to this space. A navy like this, I think, would be beautiful. I love blue. I don't know. I mean, if it doesn't work, we can just repaint it back to white, right? You I mean, that's, definitely that's no do problem. That. All right, so now that the Mahoney's have picked their paint color for the cabinetry, we're bringing our specialist in who does a bang up job. And hopefully they love them because if they change their mind and want to repaint them, it's going to cost a lot of money. Oh, wow. Hey. What? I love this. Uh, this is really blue. I know, I love it. You do? Right? Yeah. Is it pop? It's like, like sick. I, I'm, yeah. a, I'm a little concerned this is overwhelmingly blue. I'm nervous. I'm a little concerned this is like overwhelmingly blue, don't you think? I think you're wrong. I think we made an awesome decision. Right. I think once it's all totally put together. She's absolutely right. Your wife's right. Because look at the contrast between your South Stone Sharp. countertops with your Sharp. beautiful dark blue. I love that. Oh, what is that? This is your, your backsplash. You're going to have this awesome tile going right up to the ceiling. And it's going to have this beautiful hood coming down. You got your stainless steel stove over here. That's pretty dope. Now, this thing is going to be a magazine-worthy kitchen, my friend. I love it. I'm trusting your vision here. Yeah, I haven't steered you wrong yet. I'm, I might do a trust fall pretty soon. We'll figure this out. Yeah, exactly. Seriously. I got you. <laughs> I, won't, I won't let you. I got to go back to work. Yeah, get to work. Get out of here. All right, thanks, thanks Frank. Frank. All, All right. right, we'll see you soon. Got to fit the sink in here somehow. Good, Fontana. Thanks, babe. This is sweet. Boom, you got light. Look I at this. Check this out. Look, hold on, wait. Can you see me? No. <laughs> All I see is a beautiful new bathroom. Hi. 
I I'm on the toilet. Oh my gosh. Is that awesome? Are you try it? I can't even see. All right, I'll be shameless. The door's open. You're not going to close it. I'll be shameless. You be Susan. Uh, Susan, I'm home from my banking job. I'm just using the bathroom. Oh, hi. I can't see you, honey. Where are you? You can't see me. Oh, hey, Susan. Oh, my God. Two problems solved here. We have, like, no visible poop line, right? So much extra room. And so much extra room. And I think that came out killer. Oh, hey, guys. Hey. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Oh, no, 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 no. All in due time, O'Mahonies. All in due time. We are almost there. You're no such a peeking. Tease. Yeah. Exactly. Well, listen, guys. The reason why we don't want you to see stuff is because a couple days before the end of all this, where we, you get to see the final, you know, big picture of everything we worked so hard on, we like to give you a little break. You've been in this with us. You've gone through a lot. It's time for you to take the family. Go chill. Go, go. I like that. Go to the in-laws. Right? <laughs> How about a five-star? Yeah, exactly. Or that, right. Like when you guys come back here, open those doors. I want you to walk in and be amazed. And I know that you okay. will be. Yeah. Done. But you can't peek around. Like so yeah. go upstairs, pack your bags, get the kids, Can head on pee? out, one and pee? we're going to finish. One pee. Come All on. right. All right. All right. We're out of here. Back. Go get your stuff. Right. Bye, team. Thanks. Finish we have a lot to do. Bathroom. All right, so I'm going to go grab that wood. Let's start with that. And I'll get the punch list going, and we'll get this done. Let's Knobs go. and pulls on the kitchen cabinetry. i got to get a list. Get a list going. All right. Love you. I'll get the wood. Keep coming. All right. It's furniture time. All right, so yep. we're here at the O'Mahonies. Big day, big day. Final stages. I mean, this was the wall here. Push this wall down. Kitchen expansion is complete. The blue came together. I think it's gonna look spectacular. Yeah. We are at finishing touches. Super excited. Just got a couple little design elements left. You're gonna have a balance of that old and new and a little nostalgia from their family photos. I'm dying to see your face when she walks in. Good Lord. <laughs> Seamus has this band, the pigs. Yeah. This is going to be the icing on the cake for this spot. And you made it come to life. I appreciate hey. it. That's it. Good job. Hold on tight. It's a magic carpet ride. It never ends. We still got furniture outside. Never enough time, no matter what time we start. It's I know. always down to the wire. All right, we're signing off. We got a lot more work to do. Inspire someone today. You inspire me every day. Thanks. All right, so big day. Too bad the kids are in school. They would love to see this. Living with basically nothing but a microwave for four months. I'd make some mean microwave meals. You did. I'm going to miss that. I mean, maybe. I'm not. I want to cook some yeah. normal meals. Yeah, yeah. It's time to just get back to normal life. <laughs> it's been a long journey. Yeah, it has. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, so here we go. All right. Well, this is exciting. Hey! I feel like it's Christmas, and our kids are coming down to see their presents for the first our time. Okay, we even got dressed guys. up for you. You guys got to be dying. Kind of. Yeah. Mold, termites, water. Check, check, we deal check, with check. it. This yeah. house had all of them. Yes. But I have butterflies. I'm, I'm completely not joking. Really? Yeah. Let's, let's see your let's, future let's then. Let's do this. I am pumped. Why, are you ready? Go. Let's go. Awesome. It's kind of like your first date. You kind of don't know what to expect. You're hoping for the best. But if it's not good, it's not good. Right. I mean, but if it's great, it could be really great. Welcome home, guys. <gasps> This is nuts. I can't even imagine that this was our house before. It's so crazy. I don't even, this like, is, I can't wrap my head around this it. This is just wild. This is the family room. This is the living room. This is the dining room. Oh my god, look at that. You see the pictures? The pictures. Look at the, oh my god, They're this in is. the old windows. We wanted to do something unique with the yeah. old windows. So and we know that you're all cool. pictures. We really oh, took the time to it. look through, like, wow. Unbelievable. It's so thoughtful. I mean, this is special. That's what like makes a home, you know? I, it really does. It feels so us. I love the way that this is. I would have never done it this way, yeah. and I'm, and that's it's why. It's so smart. I love how it's separated, but it's still, you can so, flow right into the kitchen. I love the layout. Wow. You brush past one of the biggest things that you guys know, have a problem I, with. Like... The old powder room. Shall we? Can we? Where did our toilet go? Go check it out. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Are you kidding? 
Wow. You got that insane backsplash wall there. Insane. We did like a shiplap kind of look to bring over the reclaimed feel. It looks like a, like a fancy bathroom that you'd find in a yeah, cool swanky, restaurant a swanky in club. downtown Chicago. Exactly. Yeah. The best is yet to come. So come this way and let's mm. walk through okay. to the next space. Let's yeah, walk through the threshold into the new part of the home. Come on. That's I can't even recognize them. It, like, it's, it's insane, just like right? crazy. This is, this is it. This is what we wanted. I mean, this is a this is a meeting area. This is where we can, we can entertain. Look at look at the walls. I couldn't see this kitchen being <laughs> any other color than what it is. I mean, now, yeah, yeah, I love so it. Let's, let's talk about James because you were the biggest proponent against this. What do you think now when you see it all pulled together? I love it. The accent wall matches perfectly with the cabinet. It's not overwhelming at all. It just has a flow. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Th this is one of my favorite parts of your kitchen. You have tons of counter space. Oh, man. That butcher that, block, the island, is the island. so special, paired with some nice wood bar stools, giving it a slight industrial feel. It matches the lighting you got going yeah, on it's here. Awesome. So, did you see the, uh, the breakfast nook? The breakfast nook? I am, like, I'm thrilled. You can see it now. Oh, the yeah. kids just all around that breakfast nook. We're going to spend a lot of time in here, I think, right? Should we see like the new mudroom? Let's do it. Come oh. here. Look at this. Come. This Are you is serious? Fabulous. The mint cabinetry, I think it's really fresh. It's really light. Very fresh. Look at that. They even lined up cubbies for our kids and stuff like that. Yeah. I love that we have these baskets and extra storage all the way up. You have a, you know, some harsh elements going on here. It is a mudroom. It has the function. Cement tiles right. are really durable for that yes. during the winters. It's going to be great with the water. It looks fantastic. It functions. It's oh. pretty awesome. I, I love it. Let's exit this door and Let's. just test our little walkway Let's. to the porch. After you. Wow. Ooh, nice. Oh. What? Look at this. Are you kidding me? I can't believe how big this space it's is. Like, it's an extension of your house. It's another room. This is beautiful. The beadboard and yeah. ceiling. Yeah. yeah. It's gorgeous. Then it's all pressure treated Sorry. wood, I made for the outdoors. And the bar, how about this? Look at the bar. Ah, uh, nice. Little built this. in right into the deck. This would be great for parties. Hello, folks. <laughs> Welcome to Shameless's bar. <laughs> what do you think? He's so strange. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. We got one more surprise. What are we waiting for? To, let's, let's go check it out. The bar is closed. <laughs> Close your eyes. All right. Close your Promise? eyes, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. What the? Uh, yeah, I'll be down here from time to time. Fresh paint, vinyl floor, and it's made for basements like this. Really? And so you don't have to worry about, you know, having water damage or getting any kind of mold. So it's durable, it's functional, but still has so much style. Nice. And as you know, I installed the True Value sump pump so that if water ever does come in here, it'll pump it right out and you have nothing to worry about. Awesome. It's great. This you is so it, gr I dig it wow. big time. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you originally had a budget of $175,000, but with repairs needed to get rid of the black mold, termites, leaky roof, and we installed the new sump pump in the basement, plus the addition of a three season room, drove your budget up to around two hundred five. dollars However, with this huge expansion, you've added a ton of usable space, and with all the updates to this kitchen and front bathroom, you've added about $265,000 to the value of your house which is money well spent. Oh, honestly, I mean, you could see the love and you could see the value and you could see what was added here. Yeah. I, yeah. it got done more beautiful than I could have possibly imagined. I mean, we would never, you know, been able to do this. Yeah, we exactly. Thank you. Thank you very much for everything right, you guys. Well, Bye. Love it. Love it. Thank you so much. Great. Such a great experience for you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love it. It's awesome. Enjoy your space. Enjoy it, guys. Thanks, guys. We'll see ya. All right, Bye. take care. This is it. We did it. Your hands look empty. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, my dear. I'm super happy with the house. Yeah, no, absolutely. I'm so happy. This project started with our need for better entertainment space. Right, better yeah. kitchen. You know? And yeah. that's what we wanted, and that's what we got. Drink these in here. Go sit over there at the table, OK? You still got to do your homework. I want my kids to feel happy. Right. Frank and Sherry did that. They're getting into the routine. They're putting their stuff away. Yeah, it works well. We could not be happier. And the best thing is, Ronan forgets to close the bathroom. We don't see them. That's right. It's unique to have a house that's basically catered to who we are and what we need. And that's kind of priceless.
To check out all the amazing before and afters of this episode, go to housebeautiful.com slash downtown shabby. 